Hi there, I'm Jessalyn from the Browser Automation team. And together, we'll discover the potential of WebDriver Baidai, which is an open, fast, and cross-browser automation protocol. So, buckle up and get ready to explore it. First of all, have you ever found yourself banging your head against the wall, wondering why your tests are taking forever, or why they only work on certain browsers? Trust me, I have been there. To answer these questions, we have to take a step back in time to explore the history of test automation. Then, we jump back to the present and check out the current state of automation solutions. And lastly, we'll take a leap into the future to discover the potentials that WebDriver Baidai has for us. All right, let's rewind back to the 90s. That is when the web browser was born. However, it wasn't until the 2000s that people thought about test automation. That's when the Selenium and WebDriver projects emerged to tackle the challenges of testing across multiple browsers and devices. Soon after, they joined forces to become a single powerhouse project. The project was widely popular and eventually became a W3C standard in 2018. As the years went by, web development has evolved to rely more on JavaScript. And naturally, there was a demand to write test scripts in JavaScript too. This led to the birth of JavaScript-based automation solutions like WebDriver IO, Appium, and Nightwash, then Cypress, and later the Slick Puppeteer. In general, we can break them down into three categories based on the way they automate browsers. WebDriver Classic-based solutions, Web APIs, and the Chrome DevTools protocol. If we take a step back, we can broadly organize these approaches into two major groups. On a higher level, these two execute JavaScript within the browser. For instance, Cypress leverages the system APIs and Node.js to run tests directly in the browser. However, when tools want even greater control, like opening multiple tabs or testing within iframes, that's when they need to go deeper and execute remote commands to control the browser via protocols. The two main automation protocols are WebDriver Classic and Chrome DevTools Protocol, or CDP in short. Let's dive in and see how these protocols work. With WebDriver Classic, automation scripts can issue commands by making HTTP requests to a driver server. This driver then communicates with the browsers via internal browser-specific protocols. WebDriver Classic is a web standard supported by all major browsers. Browser vendors maintain driver binaries and update them in sync with the browser binaries. For example, imagine you have a script that navigates to a page and click on the coffee. Here is what the script looks like in WebDriver IO. Each of these actions are translated into HTTP requests. So when you set the window size, here is what happened with the Safari browser. Your script actually launches a session and sends a HTTP POST request to change the viewport size. In our example, these are the commands that run behind the scene. The browser driver usually handles the requests and responses via the same connection, but there is a catch. Sometimes, you have to wait for an element to load, and waiting can feel like forever. Due to the nature of HTTP, the browser driver cannot notify the automation libraries when the element is finally ready. So, the libraries have no choice but to rely on inefficient techniques like long polling, for example, by repeatedly sending requests until they get the coffee response. In summary, WebDriver Classic has excellent cross-browser support, but it can be a bit sluggish and it may not support some low-level controls, which we'll explore later. Now, let's shift gears and explore the Chrome DevTools protocol, or CDP. As you might guess from the name, 
This protocol was initially designed for Chrome DevTools to help with debugging. But since CDP is so speedy and powerful, Puppeteer adopted it for automation purposes. Unlike WebDriver, CDP communicates directly with Chromium-based browsers. The automation tools issue commands through CDP, which are sent to the browser via a WebSocket connection. Here is the Puppeteer version of our coffee example from before. Notice that each action is translated into one or more CDP commands. For example, when you navigate to a page, it invokes this CDP command with the URL as the parameter. Fun fact, you can use the protocol monitor tab in the Chrome DevTools to issue a CDP command. Alternatively, if you want to inspect all CDP commands in a Puppeteer script, you can set this debug variable when running the script. Here is an example of the logs. In general, these are the commands that run behind the scenes. And because CDP uses WebSocket, communications are bi-directional by default. Once the browser completes the request, it can push an event back to the tools, no polling needed to wait for the coffee, which makes it super fast. On top of that, since CDP was designed to cover all debugging needs, it supports more low-level control compared to WebDriver. It is capable of handling features like capturing console messages, intercepting network requests, and even simulating device mode and geolocation. To be fair, back in the days when WebDriver was developed, there wasn't a need for low-level control. But times have changed, and testing nowadays demand more fine-grind actions. While CDP is fast and offers impressive low-level control, it only works in Chromium-based browsers and is not an open standard. That is why some tests only run on certain browsers. So, now that we have picked under the hood of browser automation, how can we improve the fundamentals of cross-browser automation? How about we take the best of both worlds and merge them into something extraordinary? That is precisely what the WebDriver by Dai project is all about. It is a new standard browser automation protocol in the making. By the way, it is BiDai, not BD, because it means bidirectional communication. The vision of WebDriver by Dai is to let you write tests using any of your favorite tools and automate them in any browser or driver, giving you full flexibility. Keep in mind though, the WebDriver by Dai protocol is still a work in progress. But don't worry, it's in good hand. The WebDriver by Dai working group is a diverse group that includes not just browser vendors, but also open source browser automation projects and companies offering browser automation solutions. This ensures a bright future for browser automation. So, what does it take to establish and implement a new protocol? It takes a huge effort from various vendors working together. The process begins with a public specification and a request for comments, giving everyone a chance to chip in. After the specs are finalized, the next step is verification. This involves creating a shared test suite that all browsers can run to ensure their implementations are correct and compatible with each other. Finally, it's time for implementation. Here is the recent web platform test result page. For a full report with more browsers, scan the QR code on screen. The good news is that the future is just around the corner. Automation libraries like Selenium, WebDriver.io, and Puppeteer have already introduced initial support for WebDriver by Dai. Woohoo! It's time for a demo. Let's go back to our coffee example. Clicking on a coffee might trigger additional processes like calling an A-B testing API. In our test, we want to make sure that no errors are thrown in the console. With the new Baidai support in WebDriver.io, we can do that. Let's build on our WebDriver.io script. We can enable the WebSocket URL in the settings 
to monitor log messages. This works in both Chrome and Firefox. To capture console messages, we first subscribe to the log event in the session and then listen to the event and handle it. In this case, we will fill the test if there are any console messages. Now, let's run the script with a Firefox browser and see the results. Wait for it and check out the log. We capture the console message, which wasn't possible before with WebDriver Classic. Monitoring console messages has long been a pain point in browser automation. Thanks to WebDriver Vidai, you can now verify uncaught exceptions and intended logs. This is just the first step towards even greater low-level support in the future. You should definitely check out our roadmap. What's more, WebDriver Baidai is interoperable with WebDriver Classic. In our example, we added the Baidai console monitoring on top of the regular Classic commands. This means you can incrementally add Baidai support to your script starting today. Now, Let's take a quick look at setting up the same functionality in Puppeteer. Here, we extend the Puppeteer example we had earlier and launch Puppeteer with the WebDriver Baidai protocol. With this monitoring code, you are all set to monitor the events with Baidai instead of CDP. And there you have it. WebDriver Baidai is undoubtedly the future of browser automation. It is an open standard that works across browsers, fast by default, and comes packed with all the features you need for test automation. Check out our blog post to stay up to date on the latest progress. Are you as excited about the project as we are? Here are the four ways you can show your support. First, be an early tester and adopter starting today, helping to shape the future of WebDriver by Dai. Second, spread the word. Share the project on social media using the hashtag WebDriverByDai. Third, use tools that support open standards, fostering a more collaborative testing environment. And finally, learn more by visiting this URL and dive deeper into the world of WebDriverByDai. All right, folks, before we wrap up, let me share two exciting automation improvements that you don't want to miss. First up, Chrome's headless mode just got a major upgrade. With this new update, headless mode is now closer to Chrome's regular headful mode, unlocking many new use cases such as automated testing with Chrome extensions installed. And secondly, have you checked out the recorder panel in Chrome DevTools? This amazing tool allows you to automate the browser within the browser itself or export the script to your favorite automation tool. That's all. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the future of browser automation. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. Until next time, ciao!